Now you can turn your simple drawings into these awesome looking images and this is possible because of the Stable Diffusion's new AI tool called Stable Doodle. So if we go to the clip drop by Stability AI, in the tool section, we have this new AI tool called Stable Doodle. And this is the interface of this AI tool where we have the space to, to draw something and here we have the space to enter our prompt and we can also play around with different uh, styles like photographic style, fantasy art, multiple styles. And let's take a look on some uh, example images. So this uh, is the example image where you can see the picture of an owl. And uh, this is the actual drawing of this owl. And now it's turned into a realistic looking image. Let's look at this. So we're going to try out this same image. So I'm going to click on that. And let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so these are the images that it generated. And if we look at these images, uh, these are not bad actually. It uh, Some of them uh, really looks like uh, photograph but this one looks like uh, just a digital art like image so we're gonna try our own so I'm gonna draw a cap so don't judge my drawing because I'm really bad at drawing and I'm also doing this with my computer's mouse so this is much more difficult than uh, hand drawn well it really doesn't look like a cap I'm gonna give it a prompt a cap and I'm gonna select this photo uh, photographic style okay so these are the output images that it generated and uh, just look at this uh, it really doesn't look like a cap because uh, this is same as our drawing but uh, this one this one is uh, looking similar to our drawing uh, but still this is not perfect we can see the two shades uh, in this cap and I'm also curious that is it generating the pictures based on our prompts or based on our uh, drawing so we're gonna find that out so I'm gonna draw a basic image of a ball so I'm gonna give it a prompt like a crooked ball Okay, so these are the output images that I generated. These are not good actually. Uh, I think this is just because of my bad drawing. I don't know. So I just wanted to test this out. Is it manipulating the images with the prompts? No, to test this out, instead of bowl, I'm gonna type a cricket bat. Okay, so these are the output images and you can see there is nothing like a cricket bat. And you can see in this image, it tried to match the bowl and bat together. I don't know what it is. Uh, but it looks like something wooden. Uh, if it was working just on the basis of, of our prompt, it could provide us the bat. But it didn't generate a cricket bat. It tried too much uh, our drawing and that cricket bat together. So that's why we got these kind of images. Uh, I can't find any use case of this AI model right now. Uh, and one more drawback that we can't upload our own images because I didn't find any option to upload the images. And the picture you watched in a thumbnail uh, was generated yesterday. It took me a lot of time to generate uh, that thing because it's hard to draw something with a with computer mouse. Uh, I think if your drawing is good, you can get some better results. So that was just a quick update about this AI tool. And if you guys find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.